people who are not unemployed, but they're economically inactive, as That's we, right. especially in the, in the sort of uh, older uh, age bracket. So one wonders, where is the growth going to come from? Uh, I mean, clearly he's still saying there's going to be capital spending on big projects like HS2, for instance, the big rail project that certainly Esther McVeigh doesn't want the money spent on. So I I is that the hope that these things will still feed into the economy and get things going? Well, my, my well-known personal view is that if you want growth, HS2, you're not getting much bang for your buck from HS2. I think it's, uh, it, it doesn't add up. I've never thought that it adds up. Uh, and Esther McVeigh speaks for an awful lot of people across yeah. the country, I think, and not only uh, across the Conservative backbenches. But I don't, I don't really see where the growth is, is going to come from. I completely understand that the Chancellor feels he needs to take some kind of action to shore up the UK's public finances. I mean, is it emergency action? But, but, I, I, but I think we are totally overdoing right. the fiscal catastrophism. Okay. I think our trademark journalism, the political and media class more broadly, I think they're really guilty of this. Look, before this mini, before this autumn statement, the 10-year gilt yield, the cost of borrowing for 10 years, right, and the annual cost of borrowing for the British government yeah. was 3.1%, way below what it was the day before the mini-budget, mm. when it was 3.4%, 3.5%. The idea that the UK government can't borrow relatively cheaply is just nonsense. It's a completely politicised, frankly, economically illiterate statement, if you don't mind me saying so. The British government can borrow at a lower rate of interest than the American government, mm. which prints hard currency effectively because it's got the dollar, the world's reserve currency. So I think we're really overdoing the fiscal catastrophism here. I think it's unwise to do this extent of tax rises and spending cuts into the teeth of a recession. And I think there's a lot of sort of stealth going on yeah, here. Yeah. The tax rises aren't spelt out. They're not headlined rates of increase and yet the increases are very significant mark and the spending cuts they're not detailed in terms of when they will fall or where they will fall in terms of department in some senses the spending cuts you can't judge them or debate them or discuss their merits or their demerits because we don't know where they are 